What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be doing the disassembly and maintenance of the Kaiser Towser K. This is the full size one, white mountainized exclusive. I'm probably going to flip that pivot over because I prefer disassembly from the spring side. Just a little bit easier to control the spring that way. Good hardware is always recommended. I recommend the Weha bits that are linked down in the description and some tools to help you use those bits when you get them in. This mat is linked down below. I like this as a simple down and dirty mat. Silicone keeps it from bouncing and rolling all over the place and you have some magnetic pockets here to store your steel bits in. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I am going to go ahead and disassemble the pivot first because I do intend to flip this. I will check the centering to make sure that it doesn't mess up the centering. I'm hoping that this Kaiser also has a D-shaped pivot in there. So now that the that is removed, go ahead and grab yourself. I think it was a T6. I went to check it beforehand. Yeah, T6 for the pocket clip because you do want to get at the scale. So you do want to move those out of the way. That is the disadvantage to the pocket. I mean, the... um button locks is they do require a little bit more effort to be able to disassemble this. So with the lock disassembled, you can go ahead, actually just leave that there for now. Leave that there for now. Go ahead, put some tension on this scale and then go ahead and break your screws loose on this side. It'll all make sense here in a minute, I promise. And that one's not as bad. All right, now with that all done, what you wanna do is keep tension here, unlock your knife just a little bit, and then pop the pivot out to the other side. Go ahead and slide the pivot out with the knife locked back in position, keeping the tension on there, it's a little bit of a trick. Um, you can see that the D shape goes all the way through on this. So I'm hoping flipping it will not be an issue. Now you can slowly relieve the spring tension on here. Nice big spring on this one. Like to see that got a little bit of oil down on the rich light my card. I'm not really sure which one it is. At this point, you can go ahead and remove your skeletonized scale and set it to the side. Multi row bearings. Would you look at that? That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. I'm gonna move everything out of the way. Won't matter which way you face them. They're the same depth on these type of bearings. The same depth on either side of these bearings. It will not matter. All right, go ahead, clean up your knife. Get your factory lube out of there. Not to say that it's bad lube, it could just be just fine. I like to clean the oil off. You can see there's a little bit of grime and gruck um, going on there. I think this is just not good to clean it and then put fresh lube on it and then make sure that it's working really well. You can see it's already got a track forming. So hopefully you're able to see that on your end. And then go ahead, I recommend cleaning the button too. Now, one thing I will say I've noticed companies start to do is they're removing the coating of the black wash, which I think helps a little bit with the lock stick, which is a good thing. I am gonna check the liner real quick. Yeah, so it is the D shape is on this side, so flipping the pivot is not gonna be an issue. Let's go ahead and get these multi beautiful multi i bet you the uh taco bearings that they make for the demco i mean the demcos lord have mercy the hinders and the zt 0562 those will all work in here yep so it is d-shaped on both sides which is nice don't remember which one i was lubing up so it was definitely that one Whew, that has got a ton of lube on it i already put lube on the pivot so we'll go ahead and reinstall this blade on the pivot and we'll reinstall the button. Let me make sure I don't have any oil on my fingers or on the button. And that'll just drop right on in. There we go. I had to lift up on the blade just a little bit to get it to drop in there. Now let's go ahead and lube up this one. 
as well. And then we will reinstall the skeletonized liner, which looks really clean. There we go, dropped all in. Last thing you'll do is reinstall the spring. Hopefully this will all center up too. It shouldn't really matter. Um, just make sure that you got it in the groove of the rich light here, the cutout, the drill out, whatever you want to call that. Um, I thought it was supposed to be my Carter, but I'm not sure. There we go. It was feeling a little funny. And then go ahead and move that out the way. Grab your pivot screw and go ahead and snug that down. And then grab your body screws. At least get one of these snugged down before you let the tension off because you just don't want the scale to slide around. It shouldn't, but it, it's always good to exercise a little extra caution. Whoa, there we go. All right, yep, that is snugged down. So you should be good now to reinstall the other body screw. And then I would do a quick check of the play and centering before you reassemble everything because you might have to loosen some stuff up. So let's just check centering, dead center. No play. Woof, that feels so much smoother. So, so much smoother. All right, I'm confused now. Pocket clip over here. I am going to continue to lose lose use the lower two holes out of the three because it's plenty deep carry for me my taste you can move it up here if you want really totally up to you but the fact that it hits right on where the scales stop for me I'll, i prefer that here i'm just going to double check everything feel snug feel snug Oh, I had a little bit of looseness. Let me see if that affected. Nope, still dead center. No side to side. And uh, action feels really good. There you go. Tiles are K disassembly done. Reversed the, uh, which I think looks cleaner, right? The pivot over here looks cleaner now. Uh, but we reversed the pivot so that it makes it a little bit easier for any future disassemblies. And if you wanted to throw the uh, taco bearings on there, you could. But honestly, those nylons with, with the huge balls in them, multi-row bearings is going to make that operate really smooth and continue to stay nice and solid in the pivot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have you follow along as I continue to grow to the channel. Thanks to everyone out there that regularly leaves the likes and comments. I appreciate your support. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.